Good morning, Arthur Rafferty, <coughs> ASNA TV. True to form, after seven years of me trying to take seven corrupt doctors from the Belfast Trust, along with four corrupt lawyers and two corrupt solicitors, who colluded with each other, so my case for compensation would fall through. These corrupt doctors, two from the Manor Hospital, who at first did diagnose me with asbestosis and were treating me at the Manor Hospitals from 2001 right up until 2007 with asbestosis, where I seen a total of 27 doctors. Only then, the two doctors who had first diagnosed me with asbestosis then told me that they had made a mistake and had uh, given me the wrong diagnosis. It took them seven years to come to that conclusion. I knew right away that something smelt of corruption. I then went to see two other doctors from the city hospital. One was supposed to be an asbestos specialist. The other was a radi radiologist. I spent 20 minutes there. The so-called specialist never even examined me. Only read my files from the mother hospital. No scar was taken. These doctors... These two doctors were supposed to give me an independent examination and an MRI scan. Nothing was done by these two doctors. Yet they were paid £500 each for the 20 minutes work, if you could call it work. <coughs> I personally would call it fraud, stealing from the public purse. And the report stated that I did not have asbestosis without even putting a hand on me. I then went to a doctor at the Royal Victoria Hospital and a doctor at the Aunt Mary Hospital. Neither one of these two doctors examined me also, yet they sent in their report and were paid for examining me. The doctor in Aunt Mary Hospital took my blood pressure and her report stated that I did not have asbestosis, I did not have pleural plaques, I did not have bronchiectus, but what I did have was small lungs and a brain abnormality. This all from a 10 second taking of my blood pressure. And for that doctor to say small lungs, I worked at the Belfast Docks for 30 years, hard, hard manual work. And I was also an amateur and a professional boxer. Where did she get her diagnosis of small lungs from? The last doctor I had to see was Tony Stevens, the medical director of the Belfast Trust. All the other doctors had to answer to him as he was their boss. These are the seven doctors that I am trying to take a case to court. For malpractice, wrongful diagnosis, fraud, corruption. Now I find that the corrupt legal system have come to the rescue of these corrupt doctors again. The Bar Council have made it impossible for me to get legal representation for my case, as no firm will take my case on, on their say so. The Belfast Trust have their own government legal firm in Franklin Street to make sure that my case does not reach the courts. I have tried eight of the top firms in Belfast and all have said no, no excuse given. One firm was honest enough to tell me that word right from the top advised them not to take my case on. Surely this is a violation of my human rights. <coughs> my human rights entitles me to have legal representation in court. But of course these crop scum can bend the rules to suit themselves. I have asked for assistance from the Human Rights Quality Commission, the Law Society and other so-called government agencies, but all have refused to get involved. To give you an insight of how these scum have treated me, I attended court three times about my case. The judge was Avon Bell, but, uh, but the Belfast Trust or their legal team failed to appear, not once, but three times. Now, I was granted a default judgment in court. I was also awarded an assessment of damages and I attended the court to see what damages I was awarded. But this time, the Judge Avon Bell and uh, the Belfast Trust lawyer David Sharp came in together, practically holding hands. They never spoke to me. 
They walked past me as if I were invisible. In court, I spoke for about four minutes about my case and sat down. The other lawyer never spoke a word. The judge, Ivan Bell, done all his talking for him. Then he turned to me and says he was going to set aside the assessment for damages award in favour of the Belfast Trust, which I thought was a total farce, and I told him so. My case was settled in the bar library before both Judge Avon Bell and David Sharp came to court. I have no doubts about that whatsoever. I walked out of that corrupt court, leaving that corrupt Avon Bell and his chum lawyer in total disgust. I went straight into the main office and made a complaint in writing to the Lord Chief Justice Office and the Attorney General's Office the, uh, about that corrupt Judge Avon Bell. In the main office, I was told Ivan Bell was a former employee of the Belfast Trust. He was a doctor for over 20 years, so surely there was a conflict of interest there. And that corrupt judge, Ivan Bell, should never have been put on my case. Unless, of course, that was the, the plan of the Belfast Trust. They wanted to have one of their old boys working for them on the inside. After four weeks, I got a reply from both the Lord Chief Justice and the Attorney General's office stating that both thought that Master Bell had done no wrong, a complete whitewash. I wrote again to both these two corrupt people uh, to have a face-to-face -face meeting with them to explain my case to them properly. Their reply was that they do not meet the public. Someone should tell those two Pinky and Perky, that they are public servants and are paid by the public purse. I knew then and there that uh, they were closing ranks on me and for me to take my case on here in Belfast amongst these corrupt people would be a waste of my time. So I went back to the courts and applied to have my case heard in the UK. After all, this is still part of the UK. I wrote to those two, Lord, the Lord Chief Justice and the Attorney General, telling them what I was going to do, and that I had no faith at all in the corrupt legal system here in Belfast, with their corrupt solicitors, lawyers, and now a corrupt judge, and I have no trust in both their two offices. What chance would an honest member of the public have in a system so corrupt with people like you running it? As I expected, the Lord Chief Justice Office sent me a letter stating that he would be stopping me, taking my case to the UK. I wonder why he's getting involved in that. Now I know for sure that these corrupt so-called legal people are doing everything possible to make sure that I do not take my case to the UK where I would at least get some justice. I want to let the public know what type of of a medical system, legal system and court system we have here in Northern Ireland. For instance, one of the doctors I have mentioned in my statement, Dr Tony Stevens, the medical director of the Belfast Trust, after the mess he made of the Belfast Trust and the Royal Victoria Hospital, they have promoted him to take charge of the Northern Health Trust. God help the Northern Health Trust. Tony Stevens and those running our legal system and our court system, put them all together, and I wouldn't even I wouldn't even let them run a pig farm. Now the Lord Chief Justice Declan Morgan and the Attorney General John Larkin, their plan is for me, a 74-year-old man suffering with a terminal illness called asbestosis, to take my own case to court in this corrupt court system of theirs, where they have blocked me from getting legal counsel so that the Belfast Trust can put all their top corrupt QCs and lawyers that they pay, along with their corrupt doctor who is on their books to make sure that I lose my case against those seven corrupt doctors, and then I would be hit with a large court bill to pay. Wouldn't they like that? But let me tell those motherless scum. I wouldn't give them the pleasure of winning. I will take those corrupt doctors through the GMC in Manchester 
I have already been in contact with them, and I am waiting on word to travel to Manchester to tell my case to them face to face, something that I was refused here. I sorted my father's murder out myself, and I will take great pleasure in sorting you scum out myself. There is no justification for these type of people running our medical, legal and court systems here in Belfast. Anyone who would like a tip of this story, or any one of my stories, call me on my mobile 07715921137. Leave your name and address and I will send you a tip free. Thank you. Now, anyone who has a story to tell me uh, and wants me to err, I can call me on my mobile 07715921137 or I can send out a reporter to get your story and remember I will tell your story as you tell me nothing will be cut uh, watch more of my stories on YouTube MarthaRofferty.com YouTube Arthur Rofferty Arthur Rofferty Docker YouTube Arthur Rofferty Jack Spot 2012 that is a tip about the, the facious murder of my father by a Sinn Féin ARA informer, Freddy Scapatici. My email is arthurlawfully1 at gmail.com. Thank you for watching ASNI TV. I will see you soon and good morning.